Uh, welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. It is November 28th, 2012, and we've invited students to come join us and uh, think about both impromptu and maybe scheduled um, times when you guys can start doing recording yourselves and we're figuring out what, why you want to do that and if you want to do that, how you want to do that. How, how's that? Um, just a, just really an, an, init an initial conversation, I think we want to say. And um, with us, I'm going to uh, quickly do introductions. Chris Sloan is with us. Um, Christian Bendia? Brendia. I, I got it wrong. Say it right. Brendia. Oh, that's not too bad. Jeff Lebo is with us, and I think Jackie's trying to join us there. And super. Um, one of uh, Chris Sloan's students. And Kelsey... Shellhart, our regular eighth grader, uh, is with us. Super that you're here, okay? And Monica Hardy is with us, and one of my students, Monisha Nelson, is with us. And I'm Paul Allison. And uh, you are not Katie Ward. Who are you? You're Jackie, is that right? Yes. Okay. Chris, do you want to introduce Jackie? Sure. Um, so Jackie is one of my students, um, and uh, you know just really does amazing things. Uh, she's great to have in class and, and all that, but um, recently what really stood out for me is um, during the election cycle she was a volunteer for the Obama campaign and uh, was one of the state coordinators and actually left school for about a week and went to Colorado to um, you know uh, raise voter support there or you know register voters I think. Jackie will probably straighten me out there but um, really um, is one of those people that really gives you hope as far as, you know, the future of the country because a lot of people say, oh, you know, youth are apathetic and, and don't care and don't vote and all that. But um, Jackie is one of those people that uh, proves that stereotype wrong. Super welcome. Jackie, have you ever done anything like this before? Like the call or the election? <laughs> yeah, I like this call. No, I haven't. This is my first time. Welcome. Super. Thank you. Christian, introduce yourself or Monica. Do you want to introduce Christian or either way? Um, so, hi. My name is Christian. And uh, I'm a part of the B Lab in Dublin, Colorado. Cool. I couldn't hear him very well. Could you guys? Yeah. Can you get a little closer to your mic? And um, Jeff, I'm going to jump in. Can Peggy has in our chat, I wish everyone would use the Google thirds and add their name to their image so we would know who is speaking. Can you tell us how to do that? I will do my best, and what I'm going to do is share my screen. So as I'm talking, you should be seeing my Alice in Wonderland uh, uh, look at the Hangout. On the left side, you have hopefully chat, screen share, and then lower third. And when you click on lower third, you get uh, some options in the right side of the window where you can type your first main line and then a little tagline if you want, choose your color, and then to turn it on, you click the little on button. Uh, and that should activate your lower third so people know who you are when you're speaking. There's Kelsey. Welcome. <laughs> All right, it's a race. Let's see who gets there first. It's not really a race. Take your time. There's Christian. Super. And we're all checking in here. Chris Lung got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it would be nobody would be able to figure it out if it was that easy. So I don't know. So how, I don't know what who, I'm doing. Who asked for this? <laughs> well, I you did. No, no, I think it was. Uh, all right. I see hangout lower third on the right side. Okay. I need to push okay. it on. Yes. You have to put your name in there first. It's you in got there. it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, there you go. Well, mine is not working. I don't know why. Anyway. Oh well. Because it's be, it could on. Be some sort it of block up. On. Yeah. Could be some sort of block up blocker or pop up blocker or something. I'm not sure. 
So now, Jeff, how do I make it go away? How do I make it? <laughs> The you, thing on the right side go away, not my name. Oh, click on something. Else. Click on chat. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I, don't worry too much. I we it'll be the, the last two people will be either be Monisha or Jackie, and uh, we'll be good. <laughs> okay. Is my name backwards to everyone else? No. No. Is are your names backwards to you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, how cool is that? This is, Hi. Well, Hi. Jeff Hi. said it was Alice in Wonderland, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get down to it. Let's go. Let's let's get going here. Who knows where we're going? Um, Christian, let me know what what we're. Oh, actually, we were still doing some introductions. Kelsey, um, say, say a little more about yourself. There's really not much to say. I'm an eighth grader, and I live in Indiana. Super. Yep. And you're often on here with your father. Your father sent me a chat and said, I give my permission for my daughter to be on the show tonight. So uh, Yeah, he's a, not home today. It's all legal and everything. <laughs> Even though you're you're fourteen years old, so that's you're allowed to be on here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and Jackie, say why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? Sorry guys, my computer's frozen at the minute at the moment, so I can't see you right now. Um, we can see you, but, so go ahead. Okay, I'll just keep talking and pretend like I can. Um, so I'm a junior at Judge Memorial. Um, I'm one of Chris Sloan's students, and I did work for the Obama campaign um, for about nine months um, this summer and fall. Um, anything else? <laughs> That's a good start. That's good. <laughs> So why do you think you're here tonight? <laughs> what did Chris tell you? Looks like she's uh, restarting she or something. Okay. Christian, why don't you say what, what, what this little project that we're trying to do is? As you understand it. Uh, this little, uh, sorry, what project? Well, what are, what, why did we invite you here? What are we trying to do? What are we trying to kick off tonight? It's not a trick question. I don't know for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so here's what I understand. I think I think one one of the things we want to do is is make it possible for young people, such as your ages, to connect, to record conversations, to perhaps syndicate them in some way so that other people can hear them. Um, and maybe you'll plan to get together. Maybe you'll just do it whenever the conversation comes up, but um, that's one of the ideas. So what we'd like you to start helping us do, and Monisha is my student uh, from Harlem and I teach her in the Bronx, um, is to start thinking with us what what you guys want to be talking about. And Jeff Lebo is here to kind of show us how you can go ahead and stream it. Because we'd really love this to be you know, we'll support it as much as we can or need to, but we'd love it to be uh, youth-sponsored, youth-centered, and for youth. So I think I think yeah. if you find more students that's interested in the same thing, like you see how I'm doing a project on cosmetics, and you told me well, there's a student that that you um said that you would like for me to talk to. If you will find a group of students that's interested in the same thing, maybe they'll be willing to talk to each other. Right. So that's Sierra, by the way. Um, and Monica is one of her teachers. Um, so, yeah. That's a good example. Let's start there. How could you imagine um, having a hangout with Sierra? I don't know. Like I would before I would hang out. I would want to read what she feels about my um essay, and I would want to read hers. And then from there, then we could do the hangout, and we could give pointers, or we could give um advice and stuff on each other's project and how we feel about each other, and I would not each other, but our opinions. 
And um, Paul, one of the reasons I was um, talking to Jackie about this is, um, you know, she's someone who's already shown that she's um, interested in kind of, uh, you know, change and um, promoting um, what she believes in. And so this seems like a pretty good platform also for, for teens who, um, you know, who want to uh, make things better. And so that's kind of when you mentioned the idea for this show, uh, I thought of Jackie just because she's already out there kind of doing something, um, you know, with a physical network and going out there, but then also um, this um, digital network seems like it's got potential for Jackie and people like Jackie. Does that make sense to you, Jackie? Jackie, we can't. Did you hear us? Jackie, hello? She doesn't seem I to be able to hear us. Her computer. Her screen's, yeah, her screen's frozen. Yeah, okay. She's having some problems. Okay. Nikhil, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Great. Katie Ward is joining us as we talk to. Again. Good. It's okay, one of them will disappear eventually. Can can one of you hear us, Jackie? Okay, I'm back. I think I'm I think I'm set now. Did you catch what I was just saying, Jackie? No, I did not. Okay. Um, well, I was saying the reason that I thought of you for this show is that you were already out there as a volunteer trying to change things, uh, and really, you know, not just talking the talk. You know, you were out there literally walking the walk and registering voters. So I thought this kind of platform you know, is another way for you to try to change things. Does, does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, definitely. I think that, like, getting people together as a community can make a difference in a big way rather than just one person doing it by themselves. Nikhil, you just joined us. Could you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm a 17-year-old author. Sorry for my voice. I have, I have a mouthpiece right now. Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm a 17 year old author of a book, um, One Size Does Not Fit All, A Student's Assessment of School. Um, I write for a number of publications like Good Magazine and New York Times, um, and I, I speak a lot on revolutionizing education. I'm also a high school senior. And I just have to ask, what are all those trophies for? Oh, those are... Those are from my childhood. <laughs> um, they were like for soccer, baseball, um, um, yeah, and track. Cool. Well, they don't give trophies for books, but I'm sure you would have gotten one. <laughs> so, so Nikhil, thanks for coming. And this session is really to kind of help you guys, if for us too, me too, I'm the one that's learning the most, to record or archive these conversations. And you missed our first lesson, and you, you need it. Um, so somebody else volunteered to tell Mikhail how to put his name on his um, avatar, his picture. Christian, go. Because I don't know. <laughs> oh, the avatar for the Google Plus profile, or yeah. No, no. The, oh, the this line is my other person. account. This is not my official account. You see how account. we all have our names on our faces? And you don't. Yeah, this is not, I just use this account for Google Hangouts because. Oh, so um, it wouldn't work, you guys? No, he can he can put no. up any name he'd like to. It's uh, called Lower Left. It's one of the apps on the side. Oh, okay. Um. And then you can put in Zach's name since you're a fill-in for Zach. Okay. I'll put in Erica's name. I'm a fill-in for Erica. She couldn't make it. She still had the password problem. Look at Kelsey even has where she's from. So tell 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 me about the password problem. What password problem did she have? I don't know. Um, she said they have older laptops and she's had trouble with the password again getting in. Oh, oh, okay. So Jeff, by next week you should have all that figured out for us. Uh, <laughs> okay. And this is, this is funny because the I'm part of idea and. They're using phone calls. Like I know, I know um, 
the group that Nikhil's involved with, they use phone call conversations. And it drives me batty if I can't see the people. <laughs> but they say, hey, this doesn't work as, as easy as the phone call conversations. And so we got to fix that. On the other hand, it, it's easier than it's ever been. So, you know. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, go ahead, Jeff. I'm curious how much you're thinking. Like, we want, you know, we hope to get these conversations out there. Uh, do you see it kind of bridging with with youth voices? Do you see it sort of as independent projects that people are doing everywhere? I'm just looking at the front page of Youth Voices, and I'm thinking it'd be cool to have like a Youth Voices Weekly, and have the people who've got kind of some posts of interest that week to get together and almost like a uh, meet the press or the view for the week in Youth Voices. I, uh, first of all, I would like to propose that we we talk and tonight as much as possible, so that we're not like choosing between two or three things. So yes, and other things. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say I think that's a great idea, and all the other random ones we just throw to Jeff, and he aggregates <laughs> them for us. <laughs> that's a big and. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll be quiet now. Why don't we hear a round of students on that? Because um, there are advantages and disadvantages. So I'm asking all the young people to talk about this. For planning a show, you know, as well as we planned this one. No, <laughs> seriously. But um, for planning a show, inviting people and, and saying, show up at this time. And, and otherwise just saying, you know what, three of us have this idea. Um, you know, I want to go talk about cosmetics or... I just lost my job, so I want to talk to other people who are working on finding a job or something. Um, you know, that those kinds of, or whatever, or I love soccer and I saw those soccer things and I want to talk to you about soccer sometime. So there, I'm asking a lot of things here, but I'm going to try to say it a little more clearly. One, one question is, do you think we could go with impromptu anytime conversations and or do you want to have like a planned one once a week? And or, and then, what do you want to talk about? Which I think is the bigger question. Who wants to try to answer some of that? Can we just start oh, with that right. last question? Sure. What what do people want? To, what do the teens want to talk about? And what are they talking about? Like teenage girls like to gossip, rather if it's about each other or it's about. <laughs> stuff that happens with celebrities or just in general teenage girls like the gossip so if you can like open these chats more rather than like a lot of people from our school or like in New York City if it, it if it has something to do with just school they're not gonna want to do it like so if you like open these chats for me and say well you know it doesn't have to be about school you could talk about whatever you want they'll be more open to do it So like if you give us if you give us options like okay well you could talk about this in your chat or you could talk about this and you could talk about this or if you let some of the students give options. So break gossip down for me. Because some people use that in a positive way, other people use it in a negative way. What do you mean by gossip? Uh, well, most teenage girls do it in a negative way, but just in general, just talking about stuff in general. I want I want to have Jeff's lesson before we're done. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Can I? Can, let me. Let me. Let me press. The, let me ask. Uh, see if I can get some people to answer this. Thing. I want to push back on that. How do we go from gossip to political change? And I think there you can, but I think so. We we don't want to. We don't want to prescribe what the conversations are about, right? Um, but would anybody really want to come listen to people gossiping? Maybe. But does that lead to change? Or 
Any thoughts on all that? Um, this is my first time on the call, but for me it seems like you could use this outlet as kind of like a board or a panel on a certain topic, and that topic might be something that um, you know the youth want to hear about or the youth doesn't know how to handle, and you could take this board and kind of use it as a bouncing ideas off of each other. Um, Jackie, you want to talk about what you were um, researching today and how that might fit into that? Uh, yeah, so like today we were in our um, our newspaper class and um, we had a story idea for a newspaper about the fiscal cliff and um, you know everybody has been hearing about it but nobody really knew what it was so I decided to do some research about it and try and write an article about you know a fiscal cliff that we could all understand in a way that made sense. Mm -hmm. And could you envision using something like this to help do that? And if so, how might that look? I mean, I just think um, there's a lot of things that the youth struggle with, and there's a lot of things that aren't understood or you know, just topics that need to be discussed that aren't really, and I could see this board as being a discussion place where, you know, you have a few people that are able to discuss it seriously, and then others can watch it by, you know, watching what those panels said. I'm curious how much adult or teacher involvement you want. Like, do you want teachers to kind of say, okay, we're going to, let's schedule this for this time and about this topic, or is it easier to say, okay, stream whenever you want and toss it up? Like, there's, you know, there's just a certain, I think there's a role for adults to play, but there's just sort of that non-cool factor. As soon as we get involved, it feels like school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're all gonna we're all gonna leave right now and let you guys talk. <laughs> but seriously, let's let's sit back and see see where this conversation goes. Go ahead, Jackie. Um, just along the adult line, you could use like an adult um, expert in the field that you want to discuss. So if you're planning a topic for the night, you could bring in someone who's an adult expert and then have the youth weigh in to that adult expert and bounce ideas off of them would be my I like that idea from the inside but I don't think it would be good like to watch because you couldn't really input like if you had a question it would be hard to get like into there in time so you'd just be sitting there wondering and watching the thing instead of actually participating in it So how would you try to change that? Um, I think that, I mean, like the environment you have going on right now, there's not too many people and everybody can have a chance. Um, I know on the campaign we used this program. Um, it wasn't Google Hangouts, but it was Adobe Connect. Mm -hmm. um, and in that program you could, like, raise your hand and say something, and then the speaker or whoever's controlling it could pick on people. Um, so if you have a larger audience, it might be a good idea to have a program like that where you can, you know, request to be spoken to. And we should also mention that right now, as we're streaming this, there are people who are watching and can participate in text chat and chime in. And of course, it's also possible to bring people in and out of the Hangout one of the thoughts I had was, um, I mean, I'm fortunate to be privy to a lot of conversations that are going on all over the place. And to me, if we could aggregate those, not necessarily having to even bring different groups of people together, although that would be great. But if there was a place where we could aggregate all these conversations, Nikhil's in a bunch of them. Um, I know Christian's in a bunch of them. It's it, From what I'm hearing, it, other people are, are as well, and if we could get those on Hangouts in a space, you know, maybe now they're just hanging there, but eventually if we could have them categorized or whatever, if, if you just want to know what 
what kind of conversations other youth are having. I think there's a lot of power in that, realizing that what other people are doing. Um, to me, that it just would be um, an empowerment, I guess, is the best way to say it. I, I, and I, I would say, though, I'll, that would take a little bit of um, effort and work on the students' part, and they would have to value and, and want to know, you know, they, in other words, we could do that for them, but it would be great if it became more of a student-managed um, situation. So they're, they're deciding which conversations come up. They're, you know, young people are deciding. I thought that's what tonight was. That's what I was thinking tonight was happening, is Jeff is going to teach youth how to do it themselves so that they decide what conversations to have. And they don't need to be coming here. They're just doing it on their own. Shipping some conversations if they think they want to ship them to where? I mean, <laughs> when we get when we get real about that, you know, and then who organizes that page and that kind of thing? That's what I'm saying. It takes, you know, we need students to, to kind of step up and say, "Okay, I'll do that." Uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I'm 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 gonna talk a little bit just so I can, maybe I can spark some stuff. Um, like off of your question, like the whole like what would like how would we start these combos and like if it would be good to like have like organized conversations like let's meet at this time this date and so like I feel like there's good in both of them because there's some let's hope he comes back like, or or it's like or when you need so like when you have like a deadline it's good to have like a set time or like when you when you are I don't know when, like, when you are, like, and when it's hard for each other to meet and, like, you guys can maybe, like, meet halfway. I don't know. So, so sometimes, like, the deadline is a good, but, like, also sometimes, like, out of nowhere, you'll have, like, the, like a great idea and then you have to, like, let it go, let it out on somebody so they, like, so you don't lose it and, like, so it's somewhere else, too. So sometimes, like, those whole, like, just random talks are good, too. So it just, like, be good to, like, have, I guess... And it's like it's basically already set up like that. It's just like it's just the whole the whole the, the the like the fact that people don't have time, I think, to be hanging out like randomly. They don't have time for that. Like there's like people are too busy to just like randomly like, cause like I, I know like I'll get like ideas like at twelve like in the middle of the day, and then like I'll be like ah oh, oh let's who should I talk to this event? And, like everybody's in school, and I'm like dang. I just have to wait. So it's like some like I don't know. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adopt uh, Christian style. I'm going to talk for a while. Uh, <laughs> I like, I mean, and I, I think that's and. You know, I think some people might want to schedule hangouts. I think if you have a community of people who are mm -hmm. kind of available to hang out, you could say, hey, I just got this great idea. I want to talk about it. Put it mm -hmm. out there into the cyberverse, and whoever shows up, shows up. Um, as far as the technical stuff, Monica, it's really pretty ooh, I put the wrong link in uh, I'll put a link into the the guide um, I have a little step-by-step -step how to create a hangout and stream it it's really pretty simple um, and I can certainly and Paul can and others show the step-by-step um, as far as where to put all this stuff it seems to me like youth voices is kind of already set up for mm -hmm. that like people post blogs or participate in discussions it's you know that or a site like it could say hey I want to hang out about this at this time you get the recording and toss it up as part of a blog post or just a video post I'm done well, talking one of the nice things about um, a hangout is it gives you a video right immediately which goes to your YouTube and then you can put that anywhere right if you if you want to put it up on your Facebook page and you gather a conversation there that's great if you want to do it right there on YouTube you can do that um, and we're, we're it's real easy you just take the URL from the video and create a discussion and and I, I created a channel called conversations if you guys want to come up with a, a sexier title you can a better title you can <laughs> but um, 
where, but but I thought that bland title was actually kind of interesting um, to to keep it open, so that you could collect conversations there. And I put up a few that we've been having in class. Um, but so yeah, Manisha, you you actually just learned last Thursday how to how to start a hangout. Can you can you um, explain how you do it? How do you do a hangout on air? I don't I'm putting know you on the spot. I don't, I don't, I've never did it on air myself. When I've done it in the chat is because I've been asked to join the chat. But basically we sit down and we have a chart. In order for us to get the credits, we have to do many things. And one of them is called a detox. That's when we sit on the, the webcam and we talk about anything. Mm -hmm. So we sit down and we, and I guess we're able to use these chats as a detox. So we'll sit down and, and we'll talk with at least like three or four students and we'll sit down and we'll talk about basically what we need to do in school or what we're doing in our day or our weekend, anything as long as it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. And Monica here is the queen of detox. Like <laughs> but so but and it's been it's been really interesting. You know, we 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 were just messing around with Hangouts, and people said, "Can I use this for a detox?" Right? Um, and and so it's been interesting that people are talking longer, and um, I don't know, it's different. So I just want, and, and I know Monica, you've you've experimented with conversations or just talking directly into the camera kind of thing. Um, but what's the difference between doing a detox kind of conversation and inviting an expert? I'm asking the same question I asked earlier. How do we go from gossip to political change? Um, and I, it's not a, an idle question. I think we can get there. But. To me, this seems, I mean, like with the detox, like you told me before, like some of them are too short. Like after a while, I should be able to talk more. This seems like easier. You can interact more. You're not just doing it by yourself. A lot of people don't want to sit at the computer, and then they be too nervous to sit there and have other people watch them, look at the camera while they're talking, and it makes them feel like they're talking to themselves. If you talk to somebody else, it's it's more fun. Like is a um a website called Uvo or Skype mm -hmm. or Tango. Mm -hmm. It's like it's just like this. You're sitting in a group chat, or you're talking to somebody else, and you're sitting there for hours just talking. Do you use that yourself? Yeah, I do. How do those happen? Is it is it just you try to hang out with friends? Do you go to a public space and choose which uh, group to hang out with? And you talking about when I'm in school or if I'm using um like Uvo? Uvo, uh, Uvo, yeah. Uvo is with people that I don't, I wouldn't talk to anybody that I don't know on there, like just like now. But I'm with my teacher, and he asked me to do it, so I'm comfortable with it. But like with Uvo, um, you would talk to people that you know, but you could also do group chats. See, that's very interesting because. So one one purpose of having adults hang around is we keep it a safe space, right? Mm -hmm. That's and that's no small matter. Um, but yeah. But sometimes the fact that it's transparent makes it a safe space too. Um, I guess my question got answered. Uh, what does that mean? Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. What? How does transparency make safe space? Knowing that, I mean, there's eyes. Everyone's listening. It's it's out in the open, so it's safe. Mm. Um, How do you feel about that, Manisha? Do you feel like you, why do you avoid talking to strangers on Uvu? Um, because that's not what you're supposed to do. I mean, I don't. I mean, some people do it, like. Some people will sit on Facebook and they'll sit there, okay, well, there's a million and one people that I'm pretty sure you don't know everybody on your Facebook list. So you'll put your Uvo on your Facebook and then mm -hmm. somebody calls you on Uvo. 
my thing is when they're calling you, you can see their profile picture. So if somebody's calling me on Uber and I don't know who they are in their profile picture, then I'm then you can decline the call. Mm. And then there are also spaces like Tiny Chat where there's dozens of these things going on at the same time. You click and you join, and some people are okay with that, but some of those get a little uh, yeah, raucous. like like with this. Before you enter the chat, it asks you like, are you okay with you being recorded? Uber doesn't do that. If you're recording it, if um I can record it, but you won't know that I'm doing it. <laughs> So, mm. Tommy, can you speak? Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, great. Um, I'm here. Oh, hello to everybody. Um, this is. I'm really happy to uh, to see what's going on tonight because uh, 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 it's just interesting to see students thinking about these things. Um, and you're, and I, you're, you've experimented with detox this year. Yes, I have students in uh, Colorado. And uh, we've done de detox for the first time this year. And uh, I agree with um, what people were saying earlier that it's it's difficult for students to talk for more than a minute or two when they're doing that. They get, you know, I don't know if it's just nerves or what it is, but it is hard to talk if there's not somebody there to uh, chat with. Um, but I had a I had an interesting idea while you were talking also about the uh, transparency versus being anonymous. Um, because I've been thinking while we were talking um, about using Google Hangout for kind of a synchronous blog. And when I've done synchronous blogging in the past, students feel free to talk because they're anonymous. You know, nobody knows who it is that's speaking. So this is a whole different uh, ball game because you know if you're talking in a in a class, uh, you know, an organized group of students there is no longer that anonymity. So you, you've run into kind of the same problems that you have in a classroom where people don't want to share their ideas, maybe. Um, that's an interesting thing to think about, how this fits into that. Hey, Jeff, I have a clarifying question. So I can just now read your instructions, and I can start a Hangout, and I can live stream it, and it will go to YouTube. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all I was really looking for, because just like online and in the coffee house that we're in now, we have conversations just randomly. And I know the MacArthur Foundation's research with digital media and learning is what happens after hours. You know, people have referenced it here, you know, times you have conversations. One of the things that we are looking for are if you're having one of those conversations, could you make it so simple that we just push a button and we can now gather it and I, it doesn't even matter that we have a space to put it if it's going to go to YouTube that's great just so that if we want to retrieve it at some point you know it's kind of like saying I had this great conversation the other day and somebody says I wish I was there well shoot go look at it you know so thank you I guess we didn't even have to for my part I'm tickled thanks yeah, it, these are amazing times. It really is so easy to to do this. The challenge, I think, is figuring out the organization, the structure, how to make the conversations we want to happen happen. Well, do we have to make them? I mean, yeah. maybe that's what it's letting us do, just have, you know, um, Christian doing his little deal over there with his glasses and stuff made me think of Dave, and I think Dave would appreciate this free-formness that, you know, What's going to happen? Let's just experiment with this for a while. What if our conversations are just whatever? We we gather them, and then we see if we ever want them again. But it doesn't take up space if they're just on YouTube, right? Okay. Folks, out of here. I okay, but but you know what? I, I I want to push back a little bit and say, what do we have to do that for? Monica does that. I mean, Manisha. I keep DMs. Manisha does that already on Uvu, and others might too, right? But, but so I know. Why do we have to do it? Well, you. We don't. All I wanted was Jeff so, to tell us how to do it, and I thought in my head that I don't get stuff. I thought the only way we could do it was that you already had this big kingdom set up on EdTech Talk, and we had to be a part of that in order to do it as well. I didn't know I had the freedom to do it myself. So we, I don't think we need to, I just wanted kids to be able to archive some of these incredible conversations that they're having if they want to. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I guess you know, as a traditional teacher, you know, in a school and everything, I think about how you know how does this work with school and and how can it add things to school. So it's you know, like I could. Uh, we could record a lot of things uh, and put them out there, which is good because you know um, there's a lot of reflectivity there. Do in schools is is the question that I'm um, thinking about right now, yeah. uh, or with learning. If it's not in schools, like Monica and your situation, you know, how does this enhance learning? How does it do things that we uh, couldn't have done in the past? I guess. Well, within schools. Um just getting together to talk about your assignments. I mean, my kids did that several years ago, like on a Ning site. They'd go on the talk, the chat, you know, like you guys have said at midnight, and they'd be talking about the assignment. Um, so this is, I don't know, do you guys see talking about getting your work done on one of these? Wouldn't be one where you'd want to call everyone into, but I don't know. I mean, I've done that before. I've Skyped with friends to finish a homework assignment, you know. It's, it works better in groups. Um, and especially if you can see each other, you could show each other assignments or whatever you need to do. We do almost the same thing at school with Google Docs because none of our computers have webcams. So during class, we'll just open up a Google Doc and then share it with who, whoever's in our project and use it kind of like an instant messenger to just throw ideas back and forth. Uh, that's that's cool. And so your your computers don't have webcams on them. No. Okay. Just. But our, our computer systems at school aren't that good. If everyone in one lab tries to log in at once, it shuts us all out. <laughs> mm, there are issues, yeah. Can, can you do a Google Hangout from a phone? Yes. Video? We did that today with my dad. You can't, however, you can't do a Hangout on air with the phone. Oh, okay. Can so you, you can't record it. Can one of the people in the group be on a laptop and record it even though the others are on their phones? I think so. Well, you'd have to set up something to record, yeah. But it wouldn't work it wouldn't work the way it normally, you know. It wouldn't work the simple way where you just turn off the broadcast and it goes up for you. But but if you like someone wanted to yeah. if someone wanted to phone into this hangout, that would be recorded as part of your hangout, right? On air. You can't. I You're don't saying think I, you can. Well, that sounds like a challenge. A dare. There, go for it. Try it. No, I mean, there, there, the space where you can put, where you can invite somebody with, with a telephone number disappears when you start hangouts on air. And I assume that there's something that the phone companies don't like about that. <laughs> but I don't know. I, you can you can try to call in. Go ahead, but um, Jack, okay. Jackie, can I, I wanted to like like I think I'm really interested in the spectrum that um, Monisha talked about, where there's there's um, staying on. Is it Uvu? Is that right? Um, yeah. Where where you're just sort of talking about whatever's on your mind at the moment, and and it, it, you're not you know. There's no purpose or intention in some way. You're just letting it happen. Is that fair? And then, Jackie, you, you talked about something you did in the campaign um, on what was the what was the site you used? It was Adobe Connect. Adobe Connect. Yeah. And so I was just wondering if you could tell a story. And then there's, like, Skyping about my homework. Maybe that's somewhere in between. Um, but can you talk about a time when you did something on Adobe Connect that was interesting? Yeah, so they would have um, weekly all staff calls um, where all the staff in the country um, would call into the call and you would see um, big campaign guys like Jeremy Bird on your screen, um, but you know they might not be able to see you or if they turned your camera on you could see them. 
Um, so I did a training um, in Utah, and um, we wanted Jeremy Bird to Skype in, or we wanted him to video chat in. And so we just set up an Adobe Connect with him, and we were able to, you know, see him. It's really similar to Google Hangouts, just mm -hmm. an Adobe product. It's just expensive, too, by the way. But yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's interesting. So that's sort of going back to inviting an expert on again, which is an interesting model. It seems I like. mean, one of the things I was kind of uh, getting at myself or, you know, by asking the question, I guess I was helping myself answer it. I don't know. But, um, you know, widening the conversation. So Jackie's example of getting these experts on, it just seems like uh, a lot of times, you know, we have these classrooms that are based on inquiry, and there are some other ways that we might uh, come across some answers, and this format seems to have a lot, have a lot of power for that. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got Jeff on the phone. You're on the phone, Jeff? That's our right. yeah. <laughs> I bet the audio was called, but apparently I'm going to go rejoin via computer. <laughs> so it sort of works. <laughs> cool. So that was like you both won and you both lost. <laughs> yeah, well, can't okay, tell you. No, I didn't know you could call in. That's good. You can. I guess. Underwater voice, though. <laughs> <laughs> so... So you know, I, the, very, uh, let me and, and let me let me push somewhere the the other sort of middle place between inviting an expert and and gossip, um, and and but anyway. So and that's that's I, I've been talking to Manisha for s some time about connecting up with Sierra because Sierra has this whole sort of head and and some some she's even developed some products or something around cosmetics and uh, and Manish has been very interested in that so Manish can you say you look very tired by the way thank you for staying in here no <laughs> I'm just laying okay. down <laughs> no, okay but can you say say what your question is and and why would and and what what would be interesting about talking to somebody um, like Sierra, who I've just talked about, I haven't. Um, who's who's thought about cosmetics also? Like one thing that I one thing that I've learned about the whole cosmetics is that I feel like people should really have a choice in what they want to use. Not saying not as the brand per se, but what exactly are they using? And what's exactly in these, you know, the shampoos and the lotion and the lipstick and stuff like that, like the ingredients, what exactly are they putting on themselves? Mm -hmm. And in, in my head, that's mm -hmm. great. You know, you guys got to get together. In my head, you wanting to talk to Sierra and Sierra wanting to talk to you, to me, that's like Skype. You guys just yes. want to have a conversation. But like Sierra's got a site that's she's doing all this, so she might want to ask your permission and have several different conversations recorded and accessible on her site as like a Q and A for for her site. Um, so I I love that you started out this off with and it's just I just want to you know be able to do anything with this and have it be anywhere and everywhere. Um, I back again to Nikhil and Zach and um, the conversations that they're having and we've been having as well about um, redefining public education and ones that maybe aren't in a classroom and and really are out there trying to reel some of those in or at least have access to them I think is huge but yeah you guys you guys got to get together for sure are so you on Skype Manisha excuse me are you on Skype but why yeah. why Skype instead of this? This works better. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't. In terms of in terms of in my opinion, it works better in terms of of connecting, recording, and then it goes up on YouTube right away. Like all of that kind of mechanism is, is built in. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just old. I when yeah, I have you a are. when I have a one on one, I usually do Skype. Um, I don't know mm -hmm. why. But it's also a matter of if you want to record and stream. If that's you don't, right. That's true. Then right. Yeah, I matter. wouldn't go on Skype if I wanted to record. Well, now I would have. I wouldn't have done it at all. I would have had my flip video. But now I know that I can go on Hangout and record anything. So everyone, watch out. 
Now, if I decide to record Jeff, is it going to tell anybody that joins? Is it going to give them the option to stay, to see that I'm recording? Yes, like Monisha mentioned, when you join the Hangout, it says, hey, this is a Hang On On Air. Okay. Be aware. Okay. That's the other thing. Say Sierra and Monisha are really getting into a conversation, and they don't want to be interrupted. It's not that they're rude or anything, but in a Hangout, is there a way to make it so? I mean, I thought a hangout was just open to the public and anybody could pop in. No, no, it's it's um it's only people you've invited, unless you put the link out there somewhere, like we kind of do. <laughs> the only time I've ever done it, but is that's a hack, you know. People so, just yeah. join in. But like, no one's joined in here that wasn't invited. But they have in the past. Hmm. Only because we accidentally hit the public button. We. Oh, you have to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a problem with Howard Rheingold, by the way. Uh, <laughs> all right, but yeah, yeah, but you you can absolutely control that. I so cosmetics. That's one issue. I, I just sort of here at the end. I wanted to kind of I see if other like Kelsey, if you could talk about an issue next week, what would it be? <laughs> I was actually going to bring it up earlier today, but I forgot. I'm trying to start like a environmental, that's the word, club at my school, start a recycling program, and I want to know how anyone else would go about doing that, or if they're interested in the issue, what they think. Why didn't I ask this question an hour ago? That's like, a great idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it next week, Kelsey. That's a great idea. Okay. Can we? Can you join us next week and we'll do that? Okay. Okay. So say the question again. What is it? Like, you want to set up a, an environmental club and how do you do it? Or is there I, more? I'm kind of... I think I know what I'm doing, but I want to see how anyone else would do it and what they think about like what would go on in this and how I pick my teacher sponsor and such. So who do you want to be on the, to, to have that conversation with you? At first I was thinking more students, but I think anybody, just any other perspective would work. Okay, so do you want students who have already set up environmental clubs? How would you find those students? You know, these are the I don't know. Yeah. Which is something maybe we can help with. The first person that comes to mind is Sheila Adams, who's been keeping Earth Bridges alive. And, you know, every Earth Day connects with schools all over who are working on environmental issues. So maybe putting the, the call out to her and a few other, there must be a number of communities or Facebook pages or whatever related to that, maybe put the word out, mention yeah, the time. I, and Using our connections to, to, once they come up with something that's not been fed to them, you know, using our connections to get the other people from other places in, that's a great idea. Jackie, you have a, a topic you'd like to do a show on? Um, or, or, or whatever on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I was just thinking about... Um, <clears throat> My question would be like, how do you get youth involved? How do you um, overcome the apathy that can be involved with youth? I mean, like I'm, I'm the vice president of our Interact Club at school, which is like a volunteer club, um, and we have problems every day trying to get kids to volunteer or even donate things. Um, so that would be my question: is how do you inspire <laughs> youth? What's Interact mean? It's basically sponsored by the Rotary Club, um, and we do volunteer activities every month. Yeah, I don't know how to help you yet. I need you to say more. <laughs> Maybe others do. I don't know. Like, like what, is, what are the, some of the issues that your club is dealing with? I mean, um... Like, my school is really great that kids are required to have service hours. So in that way, people are, like, they get involved because they're required to. But um, my question is more like, how do you get people involved if they don't want to be, or how do you get people involved that don't really care? Um, and I think that can be a big issue. I experience that a lot with the election. How do you get people to vote? 
Um, but then just in general, how do you get youth to, you know, this could, you know, how do you get them to care about the environment or um, talk about issues that could apply to the conversations you're having here? And, and to take action, too, I think, because uh, yeah. Jackie's thing, uh, a lot of people were inspired by it, but you know, a lot of the students, you know, but then that next step of actually doing something myself, you know, that's where it breaks down for a lot of people. But, Paul, it reminds me of the uh, uh, walk in, walk in, walk out. Walk out, walk on. Yep. Walk out, walk on, Deborah Freeze <laughs> stuff. And mm -hmm. it also reminds me of the... Uh, you know, the one day on earth people are going to be shooting again um, December 12th, 2012. And their whole thing is kind of this ethos about um, they try to get video footage from every country in the world on that day. So there's a lot of, you know, like Kelsey's environmental question, um, the idea of engaging youth or anybody to make positive change kind of is, is in the spirit of that 12-12-12 project too. You know, Zach and like, Nikhil and a bunch of people are talking outside of school, but um, what you brought up is a good idea, just like getting people who have started environmental clubs, getting teachers to get their students who are doing student leadership at their schools together for a hangout. You know, you'll probably have a whole bunch of different things that you would talk about, but just connecting rather than going to a conference once a year getting student leadership kids from schools talking, I think, would be good. What do you think about that? Would that be interesting to you? No? I think if, if I was muted and couldn't get my mouse to work, that sounds like it would work, but the problem I have, like during science labs or something, when you get too many people who are kind of categorized as strong leaders together, <laughs> Not not really power struggles, but I don't know. They kind of seem to butt heads because I have that problem. Well, I would love to see you butt heads with people. That, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds entertaining to me. <laughs> um, Christian, you have any thoughts? What would you do a show on or a series of? impromptu conversations whenever they came up in the middle of the day. And by the way, your middle of the day might be later or somewhere else, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so like, um, I, had, I, had, I had, this is just my, my, my mind. This is just the way I think. So it's probably, it's probably way wrong. But um, like what I was thinking is that if I have to ask you to come hang out with me, like the stuff that that's going to like, I feel like if you have to like, if, like if you have to like go and bring people like if you have to go and like like beg people to come to this hangout like we're gonna go talk about this we're gonna change the world it's gonna be really cool you should you should really come come on and like if I if I was to t go out like tell people that like I feel like they wouldn't have as much drive to actually share their knowledge I guess is what I'm kind of thinking in my head but but like if I, but if there's like if I if I was just like opened it up and wasn't really like bugging people but I did invite people but I wasn't like ah oh, I like, come 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 like but mm -hmm. like if you just open it up and like have it like yeah come on we're gonna hang out we're gonna share our ideas and hopefully you know we get something started and then I feel like when you just leave it like that open up leave it open for people that like oh, I can go in and go talk to them oh, maybe they can help me out right quick. Once you, once people like feel like like they they need that hangout kind of they need they need they need to go interact with other people they need to connect with other people from that they can't really connect with like personally I feel like once you get to that point like the whole like sharing and creating and being totally cool and amazing like that's when the stuff starts happening because they like want it they're like they're pushing themselves like all right let's go connect to these now next step we're gonna go do this. And then after that, we're gonna go. Like, I don't know. But that was my kind of thought on, on like how, like having hangouts. And um, Kelsey, Kelsey muted me. I think. <laughs> oh no, no, I, you're back. I, I, I was I, hitting I, button. I think that's very symbolic. The youth are taking over. That's right. <laughs> 
Well, you muted me earlier. It's payback. Uh, <laughs> Kelsey, I knew that's why it happened. I totally understood. The head start to butt. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I have, I have to step out and go to work. This has been we great. Should, we yeah. should all do that. Yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so, so much, Jeff. This was spot on to what, what I was so, looking for. So but, yeah, good. And, and so let's do this again next week. Um, we'll have another youth night and see what's going on, okay? Um, and, and, you know, We'll organize over the next few days. Thank you so much, Jeff. And and the links to all of your screencasts and stuff will be up with the show. Okay. And I, I'd like a precursor to TTT. We could have SSS, students schmoozing with students. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Ciao from Fusan. Thanks so much. All right. So we're, and I think we're going to all say goodnight, um, and uh, we'll be in touch about how this might continue. Thank you, everybody. Um, this has been Teacher Teaching Teachers over the EdTech Talk channel of the World Bridges Network, and thanks to Jeff Lebo and Dave Cormier for uh, helping make that happen. Thank you all for stopping by, and please stop by again when you get an email. So, you know, so otherwise... Christians. Oh, that's very nice. Who did that? Kelsey? Okay. No. That wasn't you? No, not very this cool. time. Christian? That, Christian, all right. This is really cool. Okay, wait. Did you guys know about all the stuff that like Google has? See, what, see what's going to happen? What else, what else can we do? We're going to be yeah, blown away. Yeah. We can go. On. Yeah, that's nice. Do you, do you, know, about do that. you know all these things? Like, I could get a beard. Do the applause again. I have one already. So. Do the what? Do the applause how many, again. How many other sounds can you make? I can make... I can make... I think there's 12 of them. Yeah. Jackie, you know what? I, I mean, we're, <laughs> That's funny. The, um, <laughs> the, the issue of how you could not get into a Hangout, let's work on that because that comes up a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, Erica, so, too. Erica, too. She was, on the, she was on the chat. She went to EdTech Talks. Okay, good. So we need to kind of figure out why that happens and then be able to help people through it really fast. Right. Yeah, I did a little um, forum research while I was having the problems. And I think it's if you're under 18, you're not allowed to be on an on-air conversation. That's, but that's not supposed to be true anymore. Yeah, I was, it, it is, I think. I was having serious problems getting on here. Really? Okay. Yeah. So that's interesting. So so you're on your dad's? No, we made up one oh, that has it. my wrong birthday on here. <laughs> okay, but um, if you're if you're using uh, Google Apps for Education, it goes down to thirteen now. So there, we need to. That's interesting. But is it? But, so it's if you're recording it. Is that the issue? I think so because I tested it out last night with a friend to make sure I was able to do a talk, and we just did a regular one and it worked fine. Okay. So, but again, what I'm saying is that my kids, my my students are using it all the time, all the time for the last three days. Uh, so they're using they're using Hangouts online, and they're younger than 18. Are they recording it? And they're recording it. Yeah, but but they're using they're using it within. Um, Google Apps for Education, right? Okay. There's a special okay. place hey, there. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Tom. I'm wondering, Tom. I'm wondering um, do it because we have Google Apps for Education, but I haven't been able to get students on a Google Plus. Is that something that administration might have to enable, or if you have Google, yes, it be there. And I made a screencast about that. It's oh. um, yeah. You just need to add that app. Okay. And then, and then you have to go in and um, activate Hangouts Online. Okay. Uh, I'll, e yeah, I'll email you this screencast. That'd, that'd be great. That'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Good night.